What's up, guys? We are uh, 28 minutes out from the direct. We're live now. How's everyone doing? It's, a, it's an earlier direct. Certainly an earlier direct. There's a lot of people who, if you're on the West Coast, it's like 6.30 in the morning right now. <laughs> that's not that's not easy, I guess. But I guess for some people, it's before work. So it kind of it kind of works there, right? So we're uh, we're a little bit little bit out now. The chat should hopefully catch up on this thing soon. It acts weird when stream. It's just OBS is such a weird. It should catch up. What's going on, guys? Hey, everyone, everyone filing in. How's it going? How's it going? Nope, nope, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, the, I'm sure some people are gonna lay in bed and watch this. And hey, that's 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 the beauty of uh of being able to watch this on your phone, you know, so or your tablet, phone or tablet. There's a lot of a lot of rumors going around too now. So there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Uh, we still have, of course, that that Grinch leak that everyone's kind of looking towards. Yeah, OBS is not fun. I don't like OBS very much. I, I can't believe no one's made like a... I mean, I guess there are better streaming softwares, I guess. But this one is like the one that everyone uses. It's the most customizable. So, and for some reason, whenever I use this thing, the chat is like so slow to like all of a sudden pop up. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Sp uh, Spanish Vanguardia, just it's just chaotic. That's a great way to explain uh, OBS. <laughs> Evan is really good with it. I am not that great with it, but I make it work. You know, I'm here, so we're we're getting there. Hopefully, some Sora. There's a there's a lot of things that could pop up here. This is the Twitch stream because last time everyone told me to use the Twitch stream, so that's what we're going with. The wait, yeah, the expectations. We're yeah, we're 20, 26 minutes out, and the expectations are, are sky high because this is the last. I mean, you got to end it with a bang, right? You got to like really kick it. So we're we're expecting some cool stuff here. Benny with seven ninety nine in the super chat says, "Love watching your videos. Watch them every day before bed in Australia." Wow, from Australia, that's awesome. Watch before bed. So okay, so for some people, I guess my stuff would be like the early morning news and then for some uh, other people it would be like the late night news so that's that's actually kind of funny to think about that's the thing about youtube it's it's uh it's worldwide obviously so while you think you're releasing it at night i you know it, it could be in, in at, it, well you, you think you're putting it up in the morning it could be at nighttime you know so it's like you just put it up when you put it up you know that's kind of the way i kind of stick to it so uh just a hair says, "Hey Spawn, can you make sure this message reaches Nate? I would like to say sorry in advance of the Smash Direct for the toxicity from the bad apples in the gaming community to you and your friends." Okay, I'm, I I think I think uh, Nate was uh, he w he was going through some things with some of the threads that were out there, so I think he's fine now. I mean, he's going to be on the Spawncast this weekend, and we were I was talking to him, and I'm like, "You're going to walk in there." The Grinch leak is it's it's not real to be honest. So he's gonna walk in there, you know, like Vince McMahon walking to the ring. So you know, Nate, Nate's uh, he moves on pretty quick though. So he's we'll probably we'll talk about it obviously, but I don't think he's gonna show up rubbing it in or anything. So yeah, if it seems like the Grinch leak has kind of lost momentum and steam, and that's because uh, I I think people are starting to realize that it's not as real as we originally thought. So. Especially as more and more rumors came out, it seemed like it was still going against that. But what's interesting is, um, there are <laughs> right now there are these weird rumors going around about a uh, about a Nintendo sixty four classic being imminent. The announcement being imminent, so people are like, maybe it's here. This is a Smash Ultimate Direct, and then the live stream after that is not a place really to announce it. The Treehouse. So I think it could just be a random trailer that goes up on YouTube at some point in time. Kind of like when they announced the Super Nintendo Classic, like they've never announced really a classic system in a direct. You know, you know, it's always been, it's always just been, it's always just been like put out there. It's like Super Nintendo Direct, Nintendo Direct, or Super Nintendo Classic, Nintendo Classic. I'm gonna say Direct, uh, just out there. Because I remember when the Super Nintendo Classic got announced, we were all freaking out about Star Fox Two. I remember that just popped up on Twitter, like that. That was how they announced it. So. 
I don't know if they're necessarily going to just make put it in direct or anything, because they don't really have to. Uh, oh, thanks, Joel Rodriguez. Yeah, we're, we're uh, less than 100 away from 150,000 subscribers now, actually. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, Matt Sampson says, I'm an OTR trucker. Thanks for keeping me informed. Ah, cool. So I, hopefully I, I keep you company during your, your, your long drives. Um, that's what I would, that's what I would actually do a lot because I listen to YouTube in the car all the time. There's so much like stuff to listen to. If you have a good phone plan where you have like, you know, tons of data you can use, which like T-Mobile, for example, will give me like, I think 10 gigabytes of like high speed data. And that actually ends up lasting me most of the month anyway. So, um, yeah, it works out. Yeah. YouTube is like my radio <laughs> in the car. Uh, Deathwish Cassie says Goku confirm. <laughs> what do you think? I have at 1 a.m. Wow. Yeah, this. I feel like this is a kind of a weird time for a lot of people. Like, I don't really know why it's so early. Like, why they're doing it so early. But I mean, that's the way it, you figure it'd be like 9 a.m. Or, or noon, you know, noon uh, Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time. But they went, they went with, like, super early in the morning. I, I don't know. I don't know. I hope Banjo. Banjo is the one that I really want to see. But, ah, man. Like, I really want to see Banjo, but I, I don't have a lot of confidence that he's going to be in here. If Banjo's here, they kept it a, a very good secret. I'll say that. I mean, people are talking about it, but no one come, has come out and said, uh, like, you know, like, none of the, the typical people that come out that, you know, has some credibility. They haven't, no one's come out and said Banjo. Banjo's here, so. Mm. I, I worked at GameStop for a bit, Rick, and then I worked uh, at a at a smaller independent chain, and then I eventually, like, ran, like, some of the stores and, like, ordered for them and did a lot of stuff, so I ended up with a lot of knowledge in, like, kind of the wholesale part of video games, which is an odd thing to have knowledge in. <laughs> I saw that Funimation and Crunchyroll did do that. Uh, Bandai did as well. They put... Like a thing for Broly, uh, like a, like a silhouette for Broly. I think they were just playing around with it, you know. I don't think they're, I don't think there's any chance that Goku's in. It would be awesome because I would play as Goku, but uh, I don't think, I don't think Goku would be in there. Like I don't think Sakurai is like completely against it, but uh, it it would be an it would be an interesting thing. I think there'd be a better chance that Zoro, Sora would be in here with Disney being a pain rather than uh. Young Bucks confirmed for Smash. Oh man, rather rather than uh, Goku being in there. Yeah. Nah. So we'll see. Uh, Smash Direct. Yeah. Do you see, everyone's at like different times. I'm noticing there's a lot of people. Oh, 9:40 here in China. Oh, cool. That's cool, Armac. Um, it does seem like there's a lot of different uh, time zones here right now. That's that's kind of what happens when a when a direct happens though. You get people all over the place. So it's uh it's very interesting. Hmm. We've gotten much further in Red Dead now. It's still Red Dead's still kind of annoying. <laughs> Hi Spawn, how are you? As always, try to follow your presentations broadcasts. Is YouTube your full time job or just an extra activity? Uh Marcy, I, YouTube is full time. That's what's what I do full time now. So, um, it's worked out well, though. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Eight forty a.m. in Texas. Yeah, that's about right. It's nine forty here on the East Coast, so yeah, that's about right. Like I said, when over on the West Coast, man, it's six forty in the morning there. That's like that's really early to be doing like uh, live streaming and uh, direct. 740. Look at all the time zones. Yeah. Everybody everybody kind of comes together for these. Zeke says, I want Chibi Robo assist trophy. That would be cool. That would be neat. I mean, I don't think that, that'll ever be like an actual fighter in the game, although I probably would have said the same thing about Duck Hunt Dog, so you never know, I guess. But yeah, it's uh I get that's the thing. I always say could they could they actually do that? I don't think they could. But then they show up with something like a duck hunt dog, right? And it's like I, I guess they could, like a game and watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Red Dead Two is is very uh, it's it's slow. I, I'm making my way through it, but it's definitely not a an arcadey game. It's it's them. It's more of a simulation game. I would even say. I almost feel like the aiming is like the aiming and stuff is all bad on purpose. 
but yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's, I, I think, I think God of War is still going to be my game of the year. I think, I think God of War is still going to be the game of the year. I will say though, I got to at least finish it first before I can make a, a clear cut judgment on that. My favorite Smash character, I used to play, back in the day, this was on the Nintendo 64, I used to play as Mario all the time, and then in Melee, I played as Mario, and then I would also play as uh, Ness at times, too, but I guess it was Mario back then. I fell out of Smash a bit, I played the Wii uh, Brawl a bit, but Melee and the original N64 version is when I was really playing Smash like that. But everyone still likes Melee, so I guess I'm not that far out of the loop. <laughs> I mean... The Wii U version, yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, is beat em up streaming? What's he saying? What's he saying? Yeah, you still have, you still have like 16 minutes. <laughs> so you still got plenty of time. Uh, Stuff Sayer Gaming with a dollar. Uh, no message. Thank you, Stuff Sayer Gamer. Appreciate it. Mike Myers cat in the hat Echo Fighter for the Grinch. <laughs> oh, man. I, you know what would be the best twist ever is if the Grinch was a, was a character they added. <laughs> that would be the best twist ever they do. Uh, do they sell good cheesesteaks where you live? In Philadelphia, they do, yeah. If you go up to Philadelphia, there's a couple different places, but Tony Luke's is probably the best place to get cheesesteaks from. Uh, they actually will sell those directly at the Phillies game. So they have, like, a spot in there. Uh, it's very good. Very good. Get it with whiz without, and you're good. I don't really like onions on my cheesesteak. So. I've got a... 15 minutes. Might skip lecture for this direct. Oh, man. I guess you don't want to be in the classroom with, like, your phone under the desk kind of looking down the whole time. Or, like, have your book set up like you're reading and then, like, have the phone there. Ah, uh, man. Actually, I wish I had, we had phones like that when I was in school. Although, I think everyone would be playing Fortnite then. Like, there would be a lot of... See, back then, Reggie has playable character. Uh, see, back then, we would have uh, we would have our Game Boy Pockets, and those would always get taken away from us. Uh, the the teachers would just fill up a drawer with Game Boy Pockets and Pokemon. Pokemon, like, blue and red at the time. That's how it was. They probably collected a lot of Link cables, too, now that I think about it. So that's all they would do. Uh, is it true everyone in Philadelphia watches Always Sunny? Uh, kind of. I think they like it, but it doesn't... They don't shoot in Philadelphia, which is really funny. They shoot, like, some parts... But for the most part, I think they shoot that entire show on the West Coast. So I think a lot of people in Philly have caught on to that. But it's it's a good show. I, I like Always Fun, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's, it's a smart show. It's smarter than what you think when you watch it. Rex as DLC. Yeah, Rex should be... Rex and Pyra, or one of the two, they should be playable characters. Like, I can't believe... If they go through this and they're not added, it'd be weird. Although, I guess they could be DLC next year or something, because... You know we're gonna get downloadable content next year for this uh, for this game. Now my wife is an Eagles fan. I'm a 49ers fan. Because you know that you know there's gonna be some kind of downloadable content. How many? That's the question. Can they get? Can they get to a hundred characters in this? <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's like a games as a service going forward, it could be right. Oh, check the... Oh, that's a good idea. Check the volume. Ooh. We could just go to a random Twitch stream and just double check, right? I think that's the plan. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, yeah. Who called his streaming? Beat him up says streaming. I will do... We'll check the... Uh, we'll check the volume. How about that? I just want to make sure we have good volume for you guys so you can hear everything. Uh, Christopher Davis with $10. Thank you, Christopher Davis. Appreciate that. And what I'll do is I will I will test this and make sure it all works. So here's our, here's our uh, spot here. Let me see if they have any videos already saved. Because that way I can just go back. 
Let's see. Here's actually the Nintendo Direct from the 13th. This could work. It's another Direct. The volume should be the same either way then, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, did it not start at all? All right, how's that sound? I don't know if that's too loud or not. That sound. Out. Yep, new Splatoon. <laughs> new Splatoon. I'm more. I should be more concerned about the talking segments, right? I turned it down though. Uh, I should be more concerned about the talking segments. Everyone's favorite blue robot makes his <laughs> At least there's volume, right? Last time there was like no volume when I did it. So there you go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back to the spot. I can turn it up and down because it's more about uh this direct because their volume might be off a bit. But it's more about when we get to the talking segments, because we of course have uh, uh Sakurai could be talking uh higher or lower, but we'll be ready for it now. At least we got sound and everything, so we're uh we're ready to roll, basically, whenever they are, which should be in about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, is that Mega Man? Yeah, guys, I think Mega Man 11's coming out. <laughs> so we'll be uh, we'll be ready. I'll turn it up and down as I need to. I just want to make sure, like, if we get to a talking segment, I can turn it up a bit to make sure you guys can hear Sakurai, just in case the, uh, the translator sometimes talks kind of low. On these, so oh, Noctis would be interesting. Didn't Noctis go to Noctis went to Tekken, right? I think Noctis uh, went to Tekken. It'd be interesting to see that. Uh, announced Sora and Kingdom Hearts Collection on Switch. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Kingdom Hearts Collection, because the the Kingdom Hearts Collection is coming to the Xbox apparently. So I wouldn't be surprised if it showed up on the Switch at some point. That seems like easy money for Square. I, I don't know if there was something with. There, there's probably a reason that they always keep it on, uh, there's probably a reason they always keep it on PlayStation. I was trying to figure out if there was some kind of rights or something going on. About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Yeah, I play, I play some PC games. PC, my PC has become kind of my working area now, so I more or less play on, like, uh, the consoles mostly, but I'll play on PC. I, I was playing, what you call it? Uh, yesterday, Delta Rune. I try to play through, finish playing through that today. Master Chief for Smash. I mean, there's some kind of relationship there with Microsoft and Nintendo. I just don't know why. Like Ban, the reason Banjo would be in Smash if they ha made it happen was uh, <laughs> was if. So the reason that Banjo could be in Smash is if they had a deal to where Banjo would also be on the Nintendo 64 Classic, and they would have Banjo in Smash, and then, of course, Microsoft could release a new Banjo game, or at least announce one at XO. So you got, like, a trifecta of Banjo, you know? You got him in Smash, you got him on the N64 Classic, and then you have him uh, as a as a brand new game, maybe? Maybe? With, um, with Microsoft. That'd be cool. That'd be cool trying to convince my english teacher to stream this direct all hour while writing our essays shout out to mr straight <laughs> i mean if you got a teacher that'll do that that'd be pretty cool might get a little out of hand in the in the classroom depending on how excited people get <laughs> yeah delta rune is basically an undertale 2 demo but it's uh i like the combat more i think the battle system's better uh by quite a bit actually than than the the first one. So, all right, guys. So here's what's gonna. Here's what we're looking for with this direct to start off. There's that Grinch leak, right? <clears throat> so, what we're what people are looking for is to see, um, in this case, Incineroar show up. That would work, I guess, against that that leak. Although there's a whole story around that anyway. But if Incineroar shows up, then 
mostly dispels that leak. And then if any character that's not on that banner shows up, then that leak is pretty much out the door. Although there, I think, I think Ken is in, so don't be surprised if Ken shows up and that's on the leak. So, you know, if Ken shows up, uh, just, just chalk it up as, okay, yeah, it's obvious. Ken as an echo fighter makes a lot of sense, right? Your school for a reason you need to be learning, learning a curriculum. Yeah, that's a little different from when I was in school back then. I mean, we didn't really have like streaming video or anything. But see, when I was in when I was in uh, high school, Newgrounds just came out, so we'd be on Newgrounds a lot. It's a shame what Microsoft has done to Conquer. Uh, not much, really. I mean, they remade them on the original Xbox, right? Uh, from that, and they put it on uh, they put it on backwards compatibility, which is cool. Then they released Super Lucky's Tale. Which, okay, so Super Lucky's Tale gets a bad rap. I actually thought it was, uh, like, functionally and mechanically sound. There just wasn't any, there just wasn't any character to that character. <laughs> like, it wasn't, the character's not memorable. Whereas, everyone knows Conquer at this point, right? Uh, I got about five minutes left, guys. Five minutes. Gino, oh man, Gino is the character that everybody wants. Yeah, there's Deltarune. Yeah, you can play Deltarune on Mac. If you go to the webpage, uh, you can pick either Windows or Mac. So you can play on either one. Yeah, Newgrounds was, was actually pretty cool. I mean, for, for the time when we were, you know, younger teenagers, we would go on Newgrounds, and that was, like, where everyone, like, put up the dumb meme. That, that, that's where memes existed back then. You had all kinds of Flash games and stuff. It was, it was a pretty funny uh, website. But they, they, we didn't have like those kind of cell phones. I remember, I think when I was a senior, flip phones became like a big thing. Like the, because before then we had these brick phones. <laughs> like it was all red or all red. The one I had was all red and black, I think. There's like a big Nokia flip, or it was a big like brick phone. You could play Snake on it though. Snake was pretty sweet. Is what free? Um,. Oh, oh, uh, Deltarune, yeah, Deltarune's free. They just put it out. Apparently they want feedback. I'm on whatever the Twitch one is, but I don't think we're going to be watching the full, uh, Treehouse presentation, because I'll have to put together a video for the summary of the, uh, the Direct, so the Treehouse will probably have to be separate, so, like, if you guys want to watch the Treehouse, I'll make sure there's the Twitch link in the chat before I sign off for you guys, because I'm pretty sure... I don't think the, I don't think the, the 64 classic won't be at the treehouse, but they will have uh, Diablo there, which I assume Diablo is going to be there because they're going to announce Amiibos. I think is what's going to happen because there look to be at least two, there look to be at least two Amiibos there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm turning 31 soon, so I am. Might be around your age. <clears throat> Chrono, oh man, yeah. <laughs> Kazuma, I didn't want to bring it up, but Chrono would be awesome. I'm concerned that it's not going to happen, and that's why I didn't necessarily want to bring it up. <laughs> because I, I'm concerned that that won't happen. Uh, what do I think of the Grinch leak? The Grinch leak is uh, not true. And I guess you'll see that in about five minutes. <laughs> There's going to Giovanni. You tell people to hit the like button. I don't. I don't think. I don't think a thousand likes is even possible in this room. I don't think there's enough people here who can hit the like button. I, mean, I appreciate you trying, but I just don't think. I just don't think it's possible to get to a thousand likes. Yeah, some arms representation. While I understand arms is the most popular game, it works to advertise their other games. So. A character like Springman, for example, would work in Smash. That'd be fine. Uh, Master Chief in Smash, anyone? See, we're, we're going back to that Microsoft Nintendo uh, Nintendo relationship. <laughs> That'd be Master Chief would be interesting. Uh, Philip Holloway with a dollar. Thank you, Philip. Uh, Alan Morton, activate act uh, Activision. Give them Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Keep up the good work. See, remember? Do you guys remember? At one point, this was a while ago, Crash Bandicoot, maybe a few months ago, Crash Bandicoot was, like, one of the most hyped characters for Smash. 
And then we all start thinking about Banjo. And now we've all forgotten about Crash Bandicoot being in there, possibly. Which is kind of funny. Like, we were all about Crash Bandicoot. And now it's... Now we're all about uh, Banjo. Uh, yeah, that's a good question, too, Brian. Who dies in these trailers? I I mean, everyone... People keep dying. We, what? Luigi? Mario? Mega Man? Samus, like, jumped out of the explosion and drop kicked Ridley, so she's still good. Luigi got it the worst. Like, <laughs> Luigi had his soul ripped from his body. <laughs> Man. Two minutes. Yeah, we'll have to see who gets... Oh, Tekken characters. I wonder if they... I'm trying to think of any characters. I mean, Chrono would be... Chrono would, would be cool. I that's If I had to really go out on a limb and, and hope for a character, it's Chrono. The Goose from Untitled Goose Game. Oh man. <laughs> We're gonna be playing that, Eric. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Yes, we should have full online uh in a or we should have full online mode that they're gonna have enabled, detailed. Hopefully that has messaging, invite system, rooms, tournaments. There's a lot of stuff you can do nowadays with online. I really hope they take advantage because, of course, we're paying for the online service now. So I hope it is good and they invested it. Uh, yeah, one minute left, guys. One minute, one minute. Getting exciting. Getting exciting. Getting exciting. Sora, you know what? Okay, so if they announce Sora, that'll be awesome. But I'm, I'm on this. I'm on this Chrono bandwagon now. I want Chrono. <laughs> Chrono would be cool. Because that would give me hope that maybe Square goes back to the well and gets another Chrono Trigger together. You know, that, that smash push is pretty is, is pretty strong. It's very powerful. I mean, look what it did with Fire Emblem. We had no idea who those characters were. Now Fire Emblem games come out pretty consistently. Stuff Sayer Gamer says, uh, give this hardworking man a like, a thousand like, let's go. Uh, it's 662 now. 665. I don't, I don't think there's enough people in here to get to 1,000 likes, man. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> so that's the other thing. Uh, before they start, there is a possibility that a beta of some kind could be a test smash, if you will, could be announced. I would like that a lot. Absolutely. They would probably do it like a week before it comes out. Stress the servers. Make sure we're good to go. And also let us play it. <laughs> let us play it ahead of time. That'd be awesome. All right, here we go. It's 10 a.m. We should be starting any any second now. Again, I'll play around with the sound for you guys to make sure we're good, and I'll kind of check out the audio levels to make sure that's good as well. Rex for Smash. That's your bet. That's a fair bet. It's from uh, it's from their own franchise, so why not? I I wouldn't mind seeing Chronicles 2 get some kind of representation. Here we go. There we go. Like I said, let me know how the audio levels are and everything, guys. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 tired. fighters. <laughs> 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Man. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Here we go. Is this going to be uh, arms then, if they're at boxing? Oh no, it's Ken. Okay, so that's how they're bringing Ken in. They're doing it through the uh, boxing ring. That makes sense. Is he an Echo Fighter or is he a full character? Because he's supposed to be an Echo Fighter. So Ken we know about. So Ken, people are gonna like this because uh, Ken looks pretty, pretty awesome. But it's not really a surprise. Uh, I'm gonna be more curious if they have. What was that? Eh, 
Hey, it's messed up Little Mac. Jeez. That's right. And there's Incineroar. What did I tell you guys, right? Didn't I say, watch, they're gonna, they're gonna start off the direct, Ken and Incineroar. What do we get? Ken and Incineroar. <laughs> so, you wanna fight fire with fire, huh? <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I told you guys would probably happen. Incineroar and Ken to start off the battle. Uh, but at this point, it's anyone's guess. Yep. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to tell you guys that Incineroar was in the game. Ken's cool to see, though. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not as into the newer generation of Pokemon, but uh, Ken is neat. Man. <laughs> At this point, though, is anyone's guess what we could see? Can? Cinnaroar. So we're at 74 fighters. This is insane, because we just saw, like... Hailing from the Street Fighter series, we see Ryu's so many rival fighting games Ken where they don't join the Echo in. Fighter. They sell them as DLC. This is insane. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh, Here's how cool. he'll differ from Ryu. What, old school. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. Hell Wheel. Focus attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Oh, wow. Man, the Just detail like is Ryu, insane. He has two final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryu Ken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jinraigek. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves. The and last such, new character. Its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any they time, it's the so last they won't one. open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy oh, no. to self-destruct, so be careful. <laughs> For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, That's press funny. the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait what? too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Straight up wrestler. That's funny. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. So it's like a counter? That's Incineroar's idea of a counter attack. Yeah. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. It's so even they're... faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. There you go. I guess that is the We finally roster. revealed oh, all of the fighters you'll is. find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. There aren't very many at first, but it is oh, the, the same original. amount as the original, the original Nintendo one. 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all... Jeez. It'll look like this. Man. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they joined the series. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74, 74 fighters on the fighters. roster.
That's crazy. 74 fighters, though. Ten never really got into Amiibos. I mean, there's Wolf, Ridley, and Inkling. We know about Ridley, obviously. You may recall that we're creating Amiibo in parallel mm. with the game. Here's a look at the oh, new Ken, Amiibo figure. Ken got an Amiibo. That's cool. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't get to 75. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop, too. Oh, wow. That said, the Super Smash Brothers series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. Oh, wow. The people were right. Look at that. Good for them. And I don't mean the spooky kind. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters. Yo, it's Chibi Robo. In battle. <laughs> in the Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable the? happens. <laughs> Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces, and some are in a league of their own, legend. Interesting. One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. Oh, whoa. I got, there's an art, whoa, they got the legendary birds. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. What the? There's a lot going While on right now. primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against a fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car. I feel like we're going to have to play this to really get the idea of, of this whole thing. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. Hmm. Oh, guts, man. Super armor is hard to push. Yeah, I don't really... It's a cool idea. Like I said, I'm just trying to figure out... It's probably... We're probably going to have to play it to see, but it feels kind of like, I guess, almost like... Just collectibles and, like, a collectathon with different spirits, I guess. Yeah, each, each, fight, each spirit is a modification for your fighter. And then you get modifications for those spirits, too. Huh. 
I wonder if there's any multiplayer modes where you can just use the spirits as well. Like, if you want to go online and play. Oh, nice howls in there. <laughs> Metal Gear. Puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Hmm. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter. Oh the man, spirit. you have to. <laughs> That's at the end, I guess. You gotta basically hit the button at the right time. Have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. Oh, man. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Oh, uh, okay, so you actually do, or like, you can level feed them up snacks. and everything, or train them with snacks, okay. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, wow, you that can feels kind of like a cell phone game. <laughs> Just like that aspect where you're like leveling them up with like items and stuff. You can and also then train spirits at dojos and the gym. Then you turn them into like little cores that you use. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely teams of characters. Uh, that reminds me of uh, somebody's dream Final Fantasy true. Tactics. It's Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. <laughs> Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Yeah, right, it's kind of like a card game, yeah. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series, but just how many would you guess there are? Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. I guess this is I guess this is their single player mode. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. I mean, they still have to go over there online. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. Oh, I'm sure there'll be DLC down the road. Next year, there'll probably be new also characters. You can fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle.
The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. Oh, here we go, finally, online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the ZR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. Okay, you wireless. see news. Huh, oh, I thought that was messages. Maybe that's just news. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. Mm. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Okay. I guess it's random matchmaking. That's neat. I wonder if you have smash power is being factored into matchmaking. But so I wonder if you have more than one an online leaderboard person well. on the same, on the same system. Is they have ranking? Is a yeah, high okay, GSP score such as one hundred thousand means you've got more points than ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases, or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSB score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSB based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected, mm. so please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. Hmm. We've prepared a variety of other features there you go. for local wireless Wire and online in. battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. Mm. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. That's kind of neat. Basically, you know how many times you defeated people. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. So you can just play. Ah, oh, that's good. You don't have to sit around and just wait. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online. Oh, that's single awesome! Nintendo Switch All right, system. good. That's You'll what be I was wondering. Up against two-player teams with the same setup. I like that. That's actually really cool. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. Hmm. It all depends where you place your token. That's kind of cool. When you're in a battle arena, Reminds this me of should like... be handy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. With the Nintendo Switch online app, you can voice chat with others in battle seen this arenas. Coming. It may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Well, 
I guess that's that. Get the cell phone out. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? Fatal frame, yeah, fatal frame, I was gonna say. It's interesting to have fatal frame assist trophies. Huh. Oh, there's Isaac. Assist trophy. So Isaac's kind of in the game. <laughs> Ah, Black Knight. Black Knight's a consistent trophy also. Okay, cool. So there you go. Isaac's kind of in the game. <laughs> Spring Man's also an assist trophy. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Wily. Okay, cool. Dr. Bali has this trophy. I mean, they're not playable characters, but they still have some sort of representation, which is cool. Wise and Hand. From Mario Paint. Oh, man. That's, uh... Wow. That's, that's going back to the well, man. Wow, that look that look like a pretty strong assist trophy. Wow, from Art Academy. Okay. I, why not? Oh, Guile's there. Oh, that's that's a neat assist trophy put Guile in there. Blast kick. Blast kick. That was nothing. Oh man, wow, they're adding a bunch of interesting assist trophies. Virtual Fighter Series, though, wow. The total number of assist trophies is now 59. Wow. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Hmm. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Sentry Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? You can play on many different stages, and you can choose the music too. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode, but now you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. <laughs> You can save the replay data yeah. of your battle. So Isaac's an assist trophy. Gino isn't anywhere in the and game now, so far. You can create videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. Hmm. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. How? So if they included a manual with this game, how big do you think that manual would be? Like I feel like it would be massive. It'd be one of those like Skyrim manuals to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy! The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. 
Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. They did talk about spirits mode, yeah, it's if very you're interesting. Music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. We're gonna have to Yeah. We're gonna have to play spirits to figure that out completely. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. Wow. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. What? Jeez. The fighter names are also specific to each language. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Wow, jeez. As yeah. If they have wow, TV that's a lot of work. Handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. It's, it seems like they're single player Sometimes spirits. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. You can customize your Mi fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to That's, choose from. Apparently, apparently it's going to be a 6 on a 16 gig cart. Speaking of Mi fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. It's kind of reminding me of that E3 showing where they spent a lot of E3. That means we had like half of E3, a di another direct, and then another direct. So, I mean, the game's big. There's a lot to this game. Yeah, I need to I need to look more at spirits mode to see what's going on there. Like, I feel like they tried to explain something that's going to take probably hours to figure out even playing, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to take a bit to figure that out. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. Downloadable content, okay. But there are even more coming post-launch. Alright, here we go. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. Yeah. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. Mm. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Mm, okay. At the same time, we will offer the Fighters Pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. How much is that? When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. Again, the price 25. is 25 so, okay, you save for all five sets. So you save five dollars then. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. So we know five characters are coming after launch then. 
I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. Oh, there you it's go. Okay, so fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles. Is that 2. how they're putting Rex in? We basically, we decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, no. which was announced after planning had started. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaara Plains sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates, but we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the See, DLC. See, that's the thing. Like, you know they're already working on a separate end. note. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. This is the... No. Say this is the demo? What? Wait. Piranha Plant is a is that a character? What? What? Piranha Plant is a character in the game? What? So for buying the game you get this, I guess, as a pre-order bonus? Okay, that's kind of funny. Like, that, that's kind of funny. That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as what? an actual So, fighter. there's 75 characters then. It can then. spit poison. What? I thought we just saw all the characters. Fire off spiky balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash oh, okay. Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Mm, that's Remember, cool. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time. Oh, they'll sell them afterwards. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. I mean, it has a nice curved form to it. I think a lot of people are buying it day one anyway. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hmm. hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. I'll probably just buy it physically. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Oh, here we go. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of Aww. upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have I a chance was gonna to be a beta. all 74 <laughs> fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next and more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins, and leave the rest to your imagination. What? Okay. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Oh, okay. Huh. Don't let a single one get away! Oh no. It's a 
bunch of master hands. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Like wiping him out. Huh, <laughs> jeez. So is this like the opening cinematic to the whole thing, I guess, that you're gonna see? Holding Avengers, Avengers three. <laughs> They're thinking on planets. Jeez. Thanos. <laughs> All right, I, I okay. So I guess that's like the opening cinematic when you like go into Spirit's Moon. Oh, Kirby made it. All right, there we go. See? like a full map and everything. Wait, so there is like a full... Look at that! So there is like a full adventure mode and everything then. Ah, cool! Alright. Alright. So this is whoa. Okay, cool. Shantae was in there. Well, Ross, what? Nice. All right. So now, yeah, now I'm interested. If they got this full, this is cool. This is a this is a packed game, man. World of Light. All right. All right. This ain't this ain't. It was a packed sixty dollar game. That that's cool. That is neat. Like I'm interested in that. That's cool. So world of okay. So they have like a it's like a single player adventure mode where you have like a full map that you run around on. Looks like you're leveling up your skills that you were getting. Apparently it's gonna be a sixteen gigabyte cart, but man, that's. I mean they have seventy five characters. Although the uh, piranha plant is coming afterwards, so that's I assume not on the cartridge. That'll be a download, but seventy four characters. Tons of stages, tons of music, a single player mode like that, spirits mode, full online. There's a lot. That is a packed sixty dollar game in a world where we have like games, you know, coming out, fighting games where you have to. I don't, I don't hear them. Anyway, their microphones not on. Uh, where do you have characters uh, that you have to buy day one? Oh. Their microphones just low. Yeah, turn that up. Demetrius, you got me, JC, you have Roxy, and you have Talks or. It is 
Scott. It's, it's awesome. a big game for 60 bucks. I'll give him credit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, anyways, want to kick off by showing you guys the uh, hardware bundle, which is kind of sweet to have in front of me. Luckily, I do. Have it's out tomorrow, yeah. Um, so it's mm. kind of nice. This little box, right? It's kind of pretty. Um, here, I'll start pulling stuff out of it. Um, so, I think one of my favorite things is when I started learning about these uh, these Joy-Con, which is kind of sweet. Um, I don't know if you want to take a look at these. Yeah. Right way. No, this way. I <laughs> way. Uh, just know that they're really pretty. They're yes. I kind of was like I said. They're I was nice. talking to everybody <laughs> about the characters yeah. that yeah. Grinch like That'll really built good. people uh, up. Oh, man. Yeah, we have this, of course. The you have the Nintendo like, Switch unit, obviously, right there. I think you guys probably uh, oh, see now why you can, you can so many people are trying to push back on that because <laughs> <laughs> expectations oh, were too high dock. for the new this characters. Cool. So if you want to take a look at the dock, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, so the dock itself is kind of The dock etched. is like the only it's interesting thing about that uh, bundle. It's going to be real pretty sitting on your shelf because I know I'm totally getting one of these. Um, and also a couple things. Uh, so you have a full game download code just like that. So uh, once you open it up, uh, you'll see that there's a scratch off. I'm not scratching it off now. Don't ask. <laughs> um, so I don't believe you. Just so you know that, that you can put this in. <laughs> and um, if you put in the download code, you can start like preloading the game. So if you do have this bundle, you can pretty much go for it pretty soon. You'll see it pop up. And uh, yeah, you can preload the game. And of course, you will. You yeah, how that, is there so no? I mean, the they game, have the GameCube the, one. I'm the surprised. actual base game. And you'll also yeah. get. Uh, if they you should have. They have a pro now, controller. I'm curious the gold they show points, it. Which is kind of awesome. You get double gold points. So as long as you put this in, you get the same amount of gold points, and you get your second bunch, I think, at launch time. And then, yeah, you get double gold points. So, I mean, who doesn't want that? And also, you can't forget. Release with, with fate. I, mean, I know. I would say it now, but. Uh, Piranha Plant. I'm telling you guys, it's fake. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm like, it I'm always tightening up. I know, it's like we're, oh, I know, right? So, so Piranha Plant, you'll, of course, if you pre-purchase or at least register the game until, what, January 31st, um, you'll you'll get Piranha Plant as a you know early purchase bonus or limited time offer. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, Pardon feel free to do that. I'll be, I'll be preloading my version of the game as soon as I can. You'll have to wait a little bit, but... I thought that ending was good. That's, that's I like that adventure so mode. That adventure mode looked pretty cool. Let's actually jump straight into some gameplay. So Let's do it. Uh, looks like JC and Demetrius are going to take us through some yes. Incineroar. Yes, I, I want to play Incineroar. Can I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to play Incineroar. Dibs. Here. Oh, cable. Here. Cable. Here, cable thing. Ah, Be coordinated, it. Demetrius. Come on. I'm trying. So this early. bodes well for the it's battle. It's too early. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm Jay Free on the left. Demetrius is, in, yeah, I'll pick the cool character because I love Incineroar. Yeah, Spawn uh, Cast should be fun then this weekend. Like the regular name. Uh, I should have came up with something. <laughs> hey, man, that's your, you <laughs> nicknames as the biggest game in history. Uh, you, you had your choice. You know, there have been fighting games that have more, this, uh, but uh, uh, yeah. the there's a lot of characters here. It's complex. Back in the day when Marvel vs. Capcom 2 came out, that had like 60-something fighters, and I thought it was insane how many were there. Your favorite character is. so many of them. 75 with Piranha Plant. I keep rotating Yeah, this is probably, in this day and age when we get like, how many characters were in Marvel vs. Capcom the Infinite, right? What, like 14 or something, and then they sold yeah. more right away? Okay, fight, yeah. Fight we'll, already. We'll, we'll definitely get to that. Version later. 74. Of Incineroar. Incineroar? I'm just going to throw you. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. You get in someone's face. So Incineroar as a character is really interesting. Um, he has a lot of uh, he has a lot of crazy moves, and my favorite thing is just to grab people. I... Every single we grab tried, thing. We tried to tell you guys Incineroar uh, was in the game, and that's why the leak wasn't real, that move. Uh, obviously, at or this he, point. Uh, oh, he yes. can throw it down. Yeah, he's got he's got a ton of stuff. You can, like, upward throws, like a little backbreaker thing. Oh, sorry. Fine. I don't know. A lot of people thought that Grinch leak was real. Um, <laughs> he's got <laughs> the old swing, so he's got a lot of cool throws, but really, I love his uh, special move. So if you press the B button, he has this, uh, this lariat, and you can move a little bit with it. It's got crazy priority, and that's actually my favorite. Anytime someone comes in, just fire it up. It goes through and trades or straight up wins with a lot of stuff. Um, oh, another one. I, uh, Scott uses this <laughs> a lot, which is the like, right and left in B. Um, you probably saw that. You heard that description. Uh, let me see if I do it early. This is early. There you go. I'm probably going to KO Dimitri. Nah, Nate so probably won't. He'll, I mean, on this. he'll, he'll do oh, some. Oh, yeah, right. eat it. That's right. Like <laughs> I mean, he'll do some, obviously, because so they were getting. Line, and then if you're late, which is. A lot of them um, were getting beaten down bit of damage too, so by people online that. when oh, it comes to that. Too, that and like they were just trying to tell people that the leak wasn't real and because it wasn't. Yeah. But, you know, Scott did that to him <laughs> earlier. You can also do it in the air. Uh, Scott was doing <laughs> He's one guest tomorrow. Yo, Nate's going to be like, that dude, he's going to be strutting into the spawn cast on Saturday. That thing is pretty... 
that thing is pretty nice. It's painful it's, cross chop. It's a painful cross chop. And you can trap people in really weird ways oh. just because you, oh. Can you show this off a bit? Not yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm sure Nate will post something on, you know, <laughs> Twitter or something. Oh. Jump right into it. For fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Okay. So that's um, why, if you guys, you let me turn this down a little bit because they're just, I'm, if I can do it here. I'm not even Oops. saying anything of relevance right now. Okay, great. Uh, that'll work out just fine. If you go back and listen to the spawn cast, <laughs> someone was betting Nate, <laughs> that's not go very like, well. that it was real. And we, I, I had to tell him, don't take the bet because it's, 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 it's we know it's not real. Uh, and that'll be kind of messed up. That's why we were, we knew this was going to happen. Um, <laughs> You <laughs> slow down. Oh, hey, okay, but you got one of these. You know, that's the way it goes. Online, it can get right, kind of, it can get kind of crazy out there. You know, uh, the Grinch League. People really wanted that to be right. Isaac's kind of in the game. He's an assist trophy, right? This is the Don't some viewers owe him a copy of the game? Someone, someone was betting it, and I remember they were like, "You just give it to." It. No, Nate told him. This was funny. I remember Nate was like, "Show up here, and you gotta, you know, put six dollars super chat in." That was funny. Uh, and then they're just gonna get Evan a copy of the game with it. It's really funny. Um, but we told him not to take it because we knew it was. We knew this was gonna happen. We already knew. I think that was 182. The characters that were yeah, like, we knew Incineroar and Ken were going to announce and nothing else, really. Like Piranha yeah, Plant's yeah, cool. Yeah. I didn't know about that. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. Um, that's neat. And then five <laughs> other characters, DLC. You know. The story mode is interesting. I'm about to play more of it. Cause, I'm about to actually play it, obviously, but like to see more of it. Because it looked like there was a full board you're running around on. You level up. It looked like you're gaining abilities. It looked, it looked pretty cool. Yeah. But if he whiffs, he'll, you know. He'll sometimes have a little, so he points his fingers up like that, block it. Yeah, I and think people are more forgiving about the DLC yeah. in this game because it's clear that it's actually not done, or it's like, like a lot of times you'll get downloadable content that's ready day one, and that looks really bad. Like, look at, like, Soul Calibur had a DLC character in the beta. Like, I don't, like, I look at this and I, I think I understand that Sakurai is not holding any characters back, especially since... It's going to be like a year before any we're done. Yeah. So I kind of look at that and say, there's already 75 characters, essentially, with the uh, Piranha Plan in there. I don't feel like I'm getting ripped off, right? Uh, Dougie says, excited about that adventure mode. No new stages, though. Yeah, well, they said they're going to add stages in DLC. The adventure mode looks pretty cool, yeah. That, that, from what we've seen, the, the, the minute or so what we've seen. Um, the Nintendo 64 leak... <laughs> Oh, cool. the, the, really? All right, the Nintendo 64 okay. Classic is real. That is a thing. Okay, like to. It seems like people aren't even sure if it's real. It is real. We probably should wait till the time. Right. Here's the yeah. thing about the Nintendo 64 Classic: it can be announced sure. anytime, so like anytime. Uh, it doesn't need to be announced on a direct. It doesn't need to be announced like in a special event, like an E3 or something. They just drop a trailer on Twitter, and and that's it. So yeah, it could happen anytime. That's very unique for Smash Fighter as well. Something that oh, I've yeah, been catching people off guard with with the cross at any so they, at any time, you know, they could just drop it. Like they did the, the Super Nintendo Classic yeah, yeah. was out of nowhere. They just dropped so it. Oh, Star Fox Two was also on there. Sweet, you know, it just came out of nowhere. Same with Nintendo Classic. So. <laughs> yeah, I believe him when he. Based on the amount of content in this game, I believe him when that when they say that the DLC is not even like it's like in planning stages. I believe it, you know. Oh, well, <laughs> Matches two dollars. Do you think it's okay for insiders to ruin reveals? Uh, it depends on it. Sometimes they don't. They don't ruin any of them. Uh, other times they do. But they try to not ruin it. If you remember, they tried their best not to ruin it, but also tell you not to read into that Grinch leak that much. You know, they, like they try. They really did. But people really wanted some of these characters to be in their Geno and stuff. Um, so they really wanted to believe it. Oh, that was me. So, yeah, yeah, no, no. Go you know? And it's me. Uh, yeah, that one. Nope, now it's you. It's me? Really? Maybe it's the other one. Oh, it probably got changed. Nope, somebody touched a butt. Yeah. Oh, really? It's this one. But games like Soul Calibur characters have detailed fight mechanics. I mean, I would argue the Smash characters have the same yeah, amount of, like, complexity to their character models. And, or What's characters, not necessarily character models, because Soul Calibur yeah. characters look really, really good in terms of, like, uh, visuals yeah, and everything. But... I think there are people who would argue that <laughs> Smash characters are yeah, up there with complex like mechanics. Where, where is it on this um, uh, Artoria's of the Abyss, $2. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mostly because the characters have to all make sense against each other, and there's, what, 74, 75 characters now? So that means there'll be 80. It'll be 80 characters when it's all done. That's so many. Uh, here's the thing. We have DLC, so you never know. 
Uh, and it sounds like they haven't necessarily started working on them 100%, so they could have seen a lot of the stuff going on, uh, you know, online. Maybe they saw what people are interested in. They're looking to make money, you know, so. I I don't see the N64 Classic getting announced this Treehouse, guys. I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. I think that'll just get randomly get dropped on Twitter one day. really cool is if you take a look... At the uh, Super Smash Brothers, it's, uh, the edition for the uh, Switch Pro controller, it is pretty neat. It's got, um, it's got really cool. I actually like the handles on it because it has like this kind of tone of white, and it's got like this silver splash on it. So that's actually pretty. It's Freddie Mercury and Smash. I don't so think so. I mean, there's DLC. We'll you never know. Later. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll show later here. You guys yeah. just start let's playing. Just, let's just play. Right. Yeah, let's get this in. Right. 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 So, so it, it seems only uh, a man. To, uh, bring out. Yeah. Oh, so you want to make us a wrestling match? I see. Yeah, that's why we picked the. All right. The boxing well, there. I think that's, uh, <laughs> All right. yeah, Go Spirits on. is interesting. I don't, there's going to be, it doesn't look like there's no, people were right about microtransactions. It doesn't look like there's any microtransactions or anything. You don't have to worry about that. I have to, I think I'm going to have to play Spirits to really understand I, what's happening. Because that's day. the thing, they tried their best to explain it. But it, it's, it feels like you get the Spirits, you equip them, you level them up, and they give you advantages, whether it's strength or defense or even they show like auto healing and stuff. And you use them to battle against other people that have Spirits. So they can level their stuff up, and it it, it was a whole thing. So I'm have to I don't know, I'm have to see how that all plays out. I'm gonna put a video together going over this whole direct. So if you want like a quick kind of uh, uh, kind of looking over everything, I'll translate. Sorry, they're laughing very loud. Uh, I'll I'll go over it and everything there, uh, and we'll kind of put everything together. Spirit mode is interesting. Though. I'm gonna see that. So yes, it was it was uh, it was an interesting direct. Uh, I think people were expecting some serious character reveals, and this was a Smash direct without any major character reveals, which is interesting. Like they didn't close anything. I guess the adventure mode's big to a lot of people. They didn't close the big character reveal. They opened with Ken and Incineroar, and I guess if we didn't already know about them, that would have been Ken would have at least been kind of large, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be tearing down the new Switch whenever that comes out next year at some point i guess so it should be uh if you, you can actually go on nintendo's website uh their reward site and you can register it there and they should give you uh the piranha there all right cool so that's gonna do it here guys today we took a look at the smash direct we had ken and incineroar announced uh apparently piranha plant is in as well as a free downloadable character after it comes out which means they're probably still in development and working it out but it's going to be free. Like that's that that's how close I think they were pushing it with this game to where they have characters that, you know, they won't have ready right away, but they're giving it to for free. So, uh yeah, pre-purchase is up. Uh, I'll probably buy it physically, to be honest. So, I'll wait till then when it comes out. But good stuff. Good stuff overall. Um I think this game is massive. I think it's worth the money, and uh, I look forward to getting back in to smash last time i was really into smash was melee i played brawl but i played that casually i'll play this one casually as well but this will be really fun to get into a smash game and really play it and it seems like this is gonna have all the characters anyway so i'll be able to kind of get back in and see what i was missing with some of the other ones so cool okay uh guys that's gonna do it here thanks for tuning in thanks to everyone who donated and everything and you guys are definitely gonna want to tune in for the spawn cast this saturday because i think that's gonna be i think it's gonna be kind of funny so <laughs> uh thanks guys and i'll see you next time make sure you stop by a uh, news wave went up this morning and then i'll have a video up uh kind of going over all of this as well so i'll see you guys then